Good morning, students. I am Dr. Unnikrishnan P. C., professor in Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. In this session, we will be dealing with hybrid intelligent systems. In the previous classes, we had already seen neural expert systems, fuzzy expert systems, and neuro fuzzy systems. In this session, we will be discussing ANFIS or adaptive neuro fuzzy inference system. The structure of an ANFIS is shown here. It has six different layers. The neurons in each layer have different structures. The structure of neurons in each level is not the same. For example, they may have values, for example, membership functions defined by parameterized soft trapezoids, in general, generalized bell functions. Some of the neurons may have rules that is differentiable T norm usually product. Some layer neurons will be doing a normalization that is a sum and arithmetic division. Some neurons will be doing some functions, linear regressions and multiplications. And the last layer, the neuron in the sixth layer will be doing an algebraic sum. Given an input output data set, we will see how we can generate fuzzy rules. A typical Sugunov fuzzy rule is expressed as shown here. If x1 is a1 and x2 is a2, etc., etc., and xm is am, then y is equal to a function of x1, x2, etc., xm where x1, x2, etc., xm are the input variables and a1, a2, am are the fuzzy sets. It means how we can generate an output from a set of antecedents. x1 is a1 is an antecedent, x2 is a2 is another x antecedent, and so on. So how we can generate or how we can find the consequent from a set of antecedents. When y is a constant, we obtain a zero order Sugunov fuzzy model in which the consequent of a rule is specified by a single term. When y is a first order polynomial, that is shown here, y is equal to k0 plus k1x1 plus k2x2 plus etc, etc, km, xm, we obtain a first order Sugunov fuzzy model. So here the architecture of a ANFIS is shown here. There are six layers. Layer 1 is the input layer. Neurons in this layer simply pass the crisp input to layer 2. It means layer 1 do not do anything. It just passes the external crisp input to layer 2. Layer 2 is the fussification layer, layer. Is the root layer. What is fussification? Each neuron in this layer means corresponds converting the sugunotype fuzzy rule into which we had seen earlier. Fuzzy inputs. A rule neuron receives input from the activation fussification neuron. In this layer and calculates the can be any membership function of the like rule it triangular membership function or a trapezoidal membership function or in general any other function in Jang's model falsification neurons have a bell activation function in a fuzzy rule there may be more than one antecedents and more than one consequence 
in an amphis the conjunction of the rule antecedents is evaluated by the operator product so the output of neuron i in layer 3 is obtained as the product of their membership values for example the output of layer 3 first neuron is equal to mu a1 multiplied by mu b1 and we will represent it by mu1 where the value of mu1 represents the firing strength or the truth value of rule 1. Now moving to layer 4, this layer is the normalization layer. Each neuron in this layer receives input from all neurons in the rule layer that is the third layer and calculates the normalized firing strength of a given rule. The normalized firing strength is the ratio of the firing strength of a given rule to the sum of firing strengths of all the rules. It represents the contribution of a given rule to the final result. Thus, as shown here in this equation, the output of neuron 1 in layer 4 is equal to mu1 divided by the sum of mu1, mu2, mu3 and mu4 and we will represent it by mu1 bar. Now moving to layer 5, this layer is the defacification layer. Each neuron in this layer is connected to the respective normalization neuron and also receives input values x1 and x2. What is defalsification? Defalsification is converting a fuzzy value to a crisp value. A defalsification neuron calculates the weighted consequent value of a given rule as shown in this equation. So you can see here the ith output in the fifth layer is equal to mu i bar multiplied by k i 0 plus k i 1 x 1 plus k i 2 x 2 where x i represents the input and mu i represents the output of the normalization layer. Now moving to layer 6. Layer 6 is represented by a single summation neuron. This neuron calculates the sum of outputs of all defalsification neurons and produces the overall amphis output y as shown in this equation. So y is equal to the summation of all the defalsification neurons mu i bar multiplied by KIO plus KI1 X1 plus KI2 X2. The summary of what we have learned till now is shown here. Layer 1 does not do anything. It just passes the input signal or input vector to layer 2. Layer 2 does the fuzzification which means converting the crisp inputs to fuzzy inputs or membership values. Layer 3 do the product operation. Layer 4 is a normalizing layer and layer 5 does the defalsification, converting fuzzy values back to crisp values and the last layer, layer 6 calculates the output. The back propagation algorithm or any other algorithm can be used for training an ANSYS. Now a small question, can ANFIS deal with problems where we do not have any prior knowledge of the rule consequent parameters? Yes, it is not necessary to have any prior knowledge of rule consequent parameters and ANFIS learns these parameters and tunes membership functions. Now we will see how learning takes place in an ANFIS. And ANFIS uses a hybrid learning algorithm that combines the least square estimator and the gradient descent method. 
which we had discussed earlier. In the AMPHIS training algorithm, each EPO is composed from a forward pass and a backward pass. In the forward pass, a training set of input patterns or input vector is presented to the ANFIS. Neuron outputs are calculated on the layer by layer basis and rule consequent parameters are identified. After calculating the rule consequent parameters, we can calculate the actual network output vector y and then determine the error vector e. The error vector e is given by the desired output minus the actual output or yd minus y. In the backward pass, the back propagation algorithm is applied. The error signals are propagated back and the antecedent parameters are updated according to the chain rule. A two input first order Sugunno fuzzy model with two rules and equivalent ANFIS architecture is shown here. Whatever we have learned till now is summarized in this picture with equations shown below each layer. A two input two role Sukumoto fuzzy model is also shown here. These are the textbooks and references you should go through. Please also refer to my PPT uploaded in my cloud storage which will give you more information. If you have any queries, please feel free to call me. Thank you very much and have a good time.